live from Milford, Pennsylvania, a real happening place. It's a traveling edition of Frank the Lunatic Rants. What I got to rant about today, people, is uh, Walmart crappy quality. You know, Walmart in their ads with the whole uh, save more, live better, that whole thing. What a crock of shit. Really, it, it, it's a total crock of shit. You know, first of all, they don't have a lot of inexpensive things. Every time they get something inexpensive, they actually get rid of it. But I want to show you something about quality, about stuff that Walmart has. Um, and I've gone through this over the years. Uh, sneakers and that, for example. You know, you, you buy sneakers from there. And uh, sometimes it doesn't matter how much you pay for it. If there's sneakers that only they carry, um, they fall apart. <laughs> they don't last long. I'm going to give you... <coughs> An example, I go through this every year with slippers, okay? Every year with slippers. Uh, you get slippers, Christmas, you know, usually within two months they start falling apart. This time, I love this one, these aren't even a month old. It is, what is it, the 20th of January, um, you know, started wearing these on and off since Christmas, okay? And, uh... They're actually falling apart. Uh, there you go. Slippers from Walmart. Okay. And what they're doing, I don't know if you can see it here. We're going to go like this. Maybe you can see it from like that way. They're falling apart because they're made, they're made like crap. Completely falling apart. They're hardly stitched. Usually these things are glued and they fall apart. But typical Walmart quality. You buy stuff from there because you, re you become a repeat customer with them because you have no choice because you buy stuff and it falls apart. The stuff breaks or it wears out and you have no choice but to go back and get yet another one. Wonderful, 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 wonderful crappy quality. I'm going to um, do another quick one real quick. Something from uh, previous Christmas uh, last year. Um, you know, Walmart does things, a lot of stores on Black Friday. Well, Walmart has products on Black Friday that they will say is a Black Friday deal, and it's products that they never carry. They'll turn around and say that it's a $100 item, but, you know, for this Black Friday, it's $60. No, it's not, because you never carry the item. Case in point, last year in uh, the 2019 season, Walmart had Fargo Wear air fryer okay and I, I don't remember how much they had on sale for, but but saying that we you all know, normally a hundred dollars and they were having it for like 60 or something like that or 70 so, something like that maybe it was 60 okay well, so turn around buy one get it home you know for christmas and that open it up for christmas go to use it things start shutting on off on off on off there's something wrong with it it's defective and then inside the thing there is actually a paper about the warranty and it tells you how it's made exclusively for Walmart I had it here somewhere it was here somewhere um, this item is made exclusively for Walmart and they back it by I believe it's a three year two year or three year warranty I think it's a two year warranty that they will fix or replace the item. And then I, okay, you know what? I can't trust Walmart stuff anyway. I'm going to buy the extended warranty too. It was only a couple bucks type of thing. Well, here's the funny thing I come to find out. All right, contact them because there's you know, problems with the unit. Well, we don't have... Oh, okay, when are you getting it back in? Well, we're not. What do you mean? Um, that was just a Black Friday deal. We don't carry that. Okay, well, it says it's made exclusively for Walmart, but, and that, to take it back to Walmart and Walmart to handle it. Well, all we can do is give you your money back. No, your warranty says you're going to fix or replace it. I want to fix or replace. Well, we can't do that. Got to a point that I actually had to call corporate and get a regional manager involved on it. Come to find out because customer service, forget it, their customer service sucks over the phone, their 800 number. Oh, contact Farberware. Contact Farberware. Okay, and it says on there that it's Farberware, a registered trademark. Come to find out, Farberware doesn't make anything electric. 
Anything out there that has the Farberware name on it, if it's an electric appliance, is not Farberware. Not made by Farberware. Farberware only makes pots and pans. And what they do is they sell the rights to their name, um, the places, you know, like Walmart, Target, things like that, to have products made using their name. So they get a kickback on, on it. And Walmart gets money on it. And then they get money on it. So they have nothing to do with it whatsoever. It, but it was like jumping hoops. It literally took a took almost a month to get the whole thing resolved. Because uh, I went and said, you know, you can't tell me that no, in the entire United States, that not one person has returned one of these things saying they didn't want it. They finally found one to exchange for me. But it, it's an interesting... No. It's an interesting lesson. It's an interesting lesson learned that uh, watch what you buy from Walmart. That they don't really carry products. You know, they, that's made exclusively for them, and it's made like junk, complete junk. They don't stand by their stuff whatsoever. So watch, uh, just like Instapot. While Instapot will Instapot themselves will stand by their product. There is an Instapot that they sell at Walmart that is only made for Walmart. You could, you know, Walmart has to deal with it. Just like Hamilton Beach makes a Pioneer Woman, um, makes a Pioneer Woman crock pot. Only made for Walmart. Can't get it anywhere else. You have to deal with Walmart in regards to the warranty and that. And then they uh, look at because they normally don't sell this thing. Again, it was something made for them by Hamilton Beach. Just for Christmas. Anyhow, I am Frank the Lunatic. I approve this message. And that, my friends, is all I have to say about that.